Yo, what's up guys? My name is Nick and welcome to the Singapore Grand Prix. Last time around we had the Italian Grand Prix. If you haven't seen that one, then go check it out in the description. Uh, you can find that video. Uh, but yeah, today we have the Singapore Grand Prix. And of course, after a DNF, you want to have a strong result. Um, today we have one upgrade. It's an ultimate upgrade for the chassis. I hope it's going on this time. Because we need upgrades. Um, of course, with only four races remaining after this one, I don't know uh, if there are going to be any regulation changes. But we'll find out um, as the standings at the moment are Verstappen, MP1, Leclerc, myself, Alonso, and Russell. Um, underneath that is Perez, Sainz, and Ricciardo. Sainz, of course, no longer in Formula 1 um, because he was too expensive and no other team wanted him. Maybe after the season, we can uh, give him another chance. But that's not for season 3. And the upgrade is going on. Okay, nice. That's something that we needed because we want to win races. And of course, if you want to win races, you need to have a good quality. So that's what we are doing at the moment, going through the first couple of corners. Um, I left it a bit late with my first run. Of course, still enough time uh, to do a second run afterwards. But I feel like if I just wait a bit, the tires get uh, a better temperature because the track is already up to heat. And I decided to do that and it didn't work. It worked. Eh, I don't know. We are at the moment a half a second behind Stroll in P8. Of course, we are only the eighth person to set a time. And in the first sector alone, we already gained two tenths. So it was probably just the tires, not of the temperature. Um, as we are gaining massively on that previous time. It wasn't the best lap, to be honest. Uh, and I feel like we can do better. And we are doing better as we are up by 1.6 seconds at the moment, dropping down into P10. But of course, we are improving, which should help us uh, getting up into Eh, P8, no P8 is too low, P4, P3, it's P4, just ahead of my teammate. Purple sector 3, uh, even though we, we ran wide, um, it didn't get invalidated, so luckily that didn't happen. As we just had enough fuel with low fuel modes enabled, uh, we dropped down to P8 and my teammate is in P12, so we are both true. Nothing uh, that's really surprising at the moment, of course we are now... A team that should get through to the next part of qualifying. Of course, last time around we didn't do that. But that was because, I don't know, I, was I wasn't driving well. But this time I am. So we are through to the next part of qualifying. And into here we go. Of course, if you want to have a good qualifying, you need to get up to pace as quick as possible. Just like Leclerc doing a 136.8. I feel like in my first lap, I always lose a bit of time as we go really close uh, to that barrier. Oh my god, that is absolutely nothing. If I had a bit under steer or a bit more, then we would have crashed out and we would have started in P16. But luckily, that's not the case and we can continue our lap. Uh, George Russell, a 135.9. That's really quick. Wow. As we cross the line for our first lap to get a 137.2. That's not the best lap, so we are going to do another one. And you can see we are gaining half a second already and we are not even at the end of the lap. Um, so you can see over the course of this qualifying, I get up to speed, I get more time. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I get more comfortable with the car and with the track. Uh, I had to download a new setup because I was using a setup from, I think it was July, the 7th of July, 8th of July, somewhere around that. As we cross the line and go up to P6, I think that's even enough to get ourselves into the next part of qualifying. And yes, it is P9. Uh, of course, between us, the top five teams, and the rest of the grid, uh, it's becoming a bigger gap. Um, but luckily, we are on the good side of that, as only five teams are through. It's Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren, and 95 Racing. So, I hope that we can fight with them, uh, because we need the points compared to Red Bull and Ferrari. Of course, Mercedes are now the best team. Also, it says on the development index. But I feel like um, we are still better than them just because we do not have to upgrade on the durability, which probably 
they have as we go close once again. Um, but that just gives us a bit of an advantage. Uh, even though we do lose some points uh, due to the durability, we still have enough resource points to do the rest of the upgrades that we need to do. Uh, and at the moment we are uh, starting, not starting, we are already finishing our first lap. We have two fresh softs and we are going to use them both. We qualify ourselves in P6 at the moment. So we need to do better and we are going to do better. One and a half minutes remaining, one final lap. Can we improve? It's P10 at the moment. Surprisingly, Leclerc and Alonso both in P8 and P9. So their laps wasn't great either. But we are now all starting our final lap. And by the look of it, we are improving. At the moment, two tenths, but we need more. We need to find maybe half a second, maybe even more. As we are going through this, um, yeah, to, through this tight section, I feel like you get really close to the walls, uh, which make it, make it whoa, uh, which makes it exciting. Uh, of course, I like this track a lot more than Monaco. I don't like it at all, but maybe we can try to master it one day in the future as we are improving by one second. And it is P3. Let's go. Okay, so we are in the top three, which is really great because we usually don't do that. Um, and I feel like we are ahead of the uh, Ferraris and Red Bulls, and yes, we are. It's George Russell and Dan Tictum, who is in P1 and P2, myself and Hamilton on the second row. And then it's Leclerc in P5, uh, and Fernando Alonso only in P10, uh, both the Red Bulls behind my teammates. So that's great to see that my teammate is up there as well, because we need him for that constructor title, otherwise we can't do it. Uh, we can do it alone, so we need his help as much as possible, but of course, we get the points in the race. Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging race. We're here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit today, located in the heart of Singapore. The circuit consists of 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right. It's a track that's incredibly technical, so don't expect to see the drivers taking too much of it at full throttle. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position and Daniel Tictum completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have the engineer, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Oscar Piastri, Perez, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, and Kevin Magnussen, Albon, Liam Lawson, Lance Stroll, and Ocon, Gasly, Norris, Robert Schwartzman, and Mick Schumacher, Ricardo. They've taken a grid penalty. Sonoda, Joe, and Nicholas Latifi. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Everybody is starting on the mediums except for Schumacher and Schwarzman. They are starting on the softs. To be honest, I don't know why, because it's going to rain uh, at the halfway point of the race or something like that. We don't know exactly when the rain is going to hit, but hopefully it's going to hit before we need to go into the pits. Uh, we are starting on the mediums and we can stretch them as long as needed. Uh, so that's going to be my strategy today. Um, but of course, we need a good start if we want to keep up with the leaders. Uh, I feel like maybe we, we can afford to lose a position to Hamilton, but I don't want to lose any more than that. Um, but of course, we need a good start for that. So we are trying to do that as well as possible. Uh, Dan takes him, of course, a perfect qualifying for him, almost getting pole position as it slides out and away we go. P3 still for us. It's a good reaction time. Dan takes him, crosses over to the right hand side, doesn't make the move. Hamilton goes down on the inside, a bit of a tap with Tictum uh, and we lose the spot to Hamilton. Still side by side, but he gets a better exit out of the third. Uh, is it second or third? I think it's turn three and we are down to P4. PS3 behind us in P5 at the moment. So that's great to see him having a start like that. Um, and it's a diff difficult track to overtake. So we need to be uh, as fast as possible uh, to make sure that we can at least stay with Hamilton until they pit for their hearts. I don't know if the AI are going to pit, if it's going to rain just a lap later. 
It all depends on how late the rain is going to come. Um, but as we are uh, at the end of our first lap, you can see George Russell still leading the way. My teammate is really close behind me, so that's good. We need ha to have him uh, on board as well, because otherwise we can't do it. Uh, we are still really close behind Hamilton. Six tenths is the gap, and he is losing time to take them. It's really great to see that he's losing time. Of course, the McLaren is a great car, but still, Tickton is driving uh, phenomenally. Uh, and we almost put in the fast lap. Only four tenths uh, we lose to Russell in this lap. It's still a big, amount, a, a big amount, but still, if you take a look at how technical this track is, I feel like four tenths isn't that much. Um, Hamilton is now trying to get away from us as we are in lap five already, but we get the DRS. He isn't getting any DRS from Tickton, uh, Tickton ahead of him, as Tickton is two seconds ahead uh, and that's a way too far ahead for DRS. I feel like Hamilton is not really at the maximum pace that he can get uh, at the moment. He's trying to save his tires maybe um, or otherwise he is just slow. Uh, of course Piastri still in P5. It's great to see him uh, up here. He had a few difficult races. I had a few difficult races and if we can get a P4, P5 uh, in the team that will be massive uh, in the constructors as Red Bull and Ferrari are both battling for P6 to P9. Um, so Mercedes are having a great weekend as well as we are already in lap 8. Uh, still no rain um, and still we get DRS. So we are really close. Only 4 tenths. Can we try to overtake Hamilton here into this next turn? It doesn't look like it. I wanted to do it but I didn't want to lose my front wing. So I decided to just wait patiently uh, until we get a next opportunity. Uh, and by the looks of it, someone is DNFing and it's Nicholas Latifi. He is out of this Grand Prix. Uh, no safe car, unfortunately, because I would have liked a safe car to get myself back up with George Russell and Dan Tickton. Um, my teammate is at the moment three seconds behind. He is dropping a bit back, but still there's a big gap in between him and Perez. So that's good to see that he is... Uh, not as slow as we uh, thought at first, but that he can actually perform in this car. Uh, lap 10, we made a few mistakes, with, which means that we are back down to 7 times behind Hamilton. Uh, and he is even uh, losing even more to take him ahead of him. So it's yeah, it's good for us that he is not that fast. Otherwise, if he was as fast as Tickton, we wouldn't be uh, this close to him. But you can see just those tiny mistakes really um, don't help us at all and as soon as we get out of the DRS we lose a lot of time. Uh, the gap is now 1.8 seconds, the gap behind is 2.5 seconds and it's only um, going to be smaller and smaller until my teammates can maybe overtake me. We have, uh, we've had a bit of contact with, our, uh, with the wall but luckily no damage from that as in lap 11 the gap ahead is 3 seconds. We are losing way too much time. Uh, but as long as we can stay inside that pit window from the leader, uh, then we can try to, um, to we can try to overcut them until the rain hits. But now in lap 13, my pit window was set for lap 14, uh, so I think that most of the drivers uh, around us are going to pit uh, around that time as well. As Perez and Leclerc are fighting, and that means that they are losing so much time. Um, Red Bull driver Max Verstappen had to go into the pits. I think he had a bit of damage because he's at the moment at the start finish straight and he is not uh, in any position to fight for a podium today. Of course, we aren't either because Hamilton is now five and a half seconds ahead. But this was the lap that we needed to pit. We are not pitting, but the guys who are um, are the likes of Hamilton. Uh, I think it's Leclerc and Perez as well. Yes, you can see. Perez and Leclerc coming into the pits. They are going for... Is it soft because the rain is coming in a few laps? I don't know. No, it's hard actually. So Perez and uh, Leclerc go, for, uh, go both for the hearts. Um, and that means that we are now in P3. Uh, I think my teammate goes in this lap. So unfortunately, he can't do uh, the overcut as well uh, towards the rain. Um, as you can see, PS3 and take the no, not PS3, Russell and take them both went into the pits as well, which means that we are now leading the Singapore Grand Prix. It's only lap 16. There's still a lot of laps to go, uh, and of course the rain is coming any second now. So maybe we can try to uh, extend our first stint 
uh, until the rain hits. It all depends on if it's going to become uh, wet as fast as we need it to be. Because we are not as fast as the guys behind us. The gap is now 14 seconds. Can we keep that lap uh, as we are um, going as fast as possible? But these mediums are just done. There's no life left in them. Uh, and Russell is on new half. If he was on the soft, I think he could have uh, closed this gap uh, until uh, maybe lap 18. And he would have been at the back of my uh, car. But it's now starting to rain. Of course, not that much uh, at the moment. But I feel like this is the perfect life for us to come in. Because, of course, this is a really, really long track. Um, it's 1 minute 40 seconds. Uh, so if we pit a lap too late, it could mean the difference between P1 and P4. So we want to uh, go as early as possible. Um, because, of course, the humidity uh, at this track is really high. And of course, um, it's really, really uh, easy for us to make a mistake on uh, the on these conditions. So I want to be safe on the intermediate tires. As you can see, we are coming out of the pits. Are we going to be ahead of our teammate? No, we are not. But we are ahead of Sergio Perez. So we are now back in P7. Uh, but of course, everybody still needs to make a pit stop. Um, so we are not really that worried about our position at the moment. The most, uh, the thing that I'm most worried about is George Russell. He is in P1 at the moment and he needs to make a pit stop. Of course, I don't know if he is going to get a good pit stop or a bad one. Uh, because we need all the time that we can get um, for the win, of course. We want to win this race as Piastri and Leclerc are both getting into the pits. And I just want to say one thing. We have a clown award and it's going towards no other than... Ferrari, thank you very much for taking this uh, beautiful blunder once again. Alonso is staying out one extra lap on these hearts. And I can tell you it's really, really costly for his position. He was fighting for P5. But he isn't going to be that anymore as the gap is going to get bigger and bigger. Of course, he helps us a lot um, with the gap to George Russell. He grew, uh, he grew the gap. So I think it was about four seconds. Uh, of course, Russell, he changes to uh, the intermediate tires and can immediately go full pace. But I have to still get uh, a feel of it on how the track is at the moment. Uh, so we are still trying to go uh, faster and faster every lap, but we are doing so. And that means that we uh, can try to extend the gap once again to George Russell. Now in lap 22, you can see he is within one second. But of course, because it's raining, there is no DRS. We luckily have that uh, because otherwise we, I don't think that we could have defended from him. But uh, it's still a difficult track to overtake. It's now a gap of one second. And I feel like this was a changing point between faster and slower. Um, so at the moment I'm slower than the guys behind me. But I feel like I'm getting faster and faster. And as you can see the gap is growing once again. It's almost two seconds. Uh, as Tictum and Russell are trying to fight for P2. They are really close behind each other. Verstappen still 12 seconds behind. Um, but he can catch up as well. Uh, if these guys uh, in the Mercedes and the McLaren are fighting. And I feel like they are going to do that as well. As we are extending the gap even more. Russell 3.5 seconds. Tictum 4.5 seconds. So they are doing their job perfectly. Verstappen 9 seconds in only a few laps. So he is closing in massively. Of course, we know Max Verstappen is good in the uh, dry weather, uh, in the wet weather, sorry. Um, and he is showing that pace today. Uh, as we are now in the dying stages of this Grand Prix, I feel like there's not that much that I can show you guys. Because I'm just driving around, trying to get this car uh, until it's time to finish this race. And we are doing that as fast as possible. Um, and yeah, I feel like there's not that much in this Grand Prix for me, but the guys behind me are fighting a lot. They are fighting for P2, P3, P4, maybe even P5, as Verstappen is now at the back of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, and I think it's Charles Blair who has catched up as well, so they are all fighting for P2. Uh, and I'm just out here driving around and trying to take home a win. Of course, I hope that Verstappen doesn't get P4. Um, because that would mean a difference of a few points in our championship and that would be massive at the end of the season. Of course, we are still in P3 in the championship, but if we can get a win 
and a good result from PS3, I think we can get uh, really close behind Ferrari and Red Bull and that will mean that we can overtake them maybe in the next race or the race after that, but we need to get some good results. I don't want, wait, Tictum is in P2, oh my god, Tictum is going for P2, can he even, can he defend that? To be honest, I don't know, wow, um, oh, Verstappen goes into P4 as well, oh no, he's back down to P5, nice. Um, and as you can see, Tictum is closing the gap. The gap between me and Tictum is 3 seconds. The gap between Russell and Tictum is also uh, 3 seconds. And the guys at the back of the grid, um, they went for uh, dry compound tires because they uh, were told that it was dry enough because DRS was enabled. Um, so yeah, uh, Verstappen still in P5, that is really great, that would help us a lot. Uh, that would gain us, I think, around 15 points in the championship. Leclerc is behind that, so it would be even more to him. Uh, but Dan Tictum is closing in really fast. And as you can see, George Russell. George Russell has a lockup, and he's fighting now for the fifth position. Um, as Verstappen uh, had a good reaction time and went around the other side, and he actually got the position. They are still fighting for it. But George Russell loses his podium in the final lap. Of course, with these drying conditions, the tires overheat a lot. Um, but I feel like it was still drivable as Dan Tickton is really, clo really close behind us. If it was only one lap more, I feel like he could have won this Grand Prix. But we are coming around the final corner to take home our sixth win. And we win the Singapore Grand Prix. To be honest, I wouldn't, uh, I didn't think that we could actually do it. After I saw the face of uh, Tictum and Russell in the dry, I felt like it was going to take a lot uh, out of the car to try and win this race. And we actually did it. So it's great to see that we still have the pace. Of course, that ultimate upgrade helped as well. It's never easy to make it across the finish line here in Singapore, but they've done so with some style here today to take a remarkable victory. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. And as you can see, it's a perfect race for Dan Tictum as well. Finishing in P2 with Lewis Hamilton in P3. So that means no Red Bull or Ferrari on the podium. And that would automatically gain us points on them because we need it. We only have four races remaining after this one. So if you don't want to miss any of that, like and subscribe already. The episode hasn't finished yet, but you can uh, like and subscribe already because it was a fantastic race, a so fantastic podium. And you can see Max Verstappen got up to P4, uh, gaining 12 points. George Russell dropped down to P5 after so taking pole position. My teammate in P7, so he gains points off Fernando Alonso and Sergio Perez. And Liam Lawson is the guy who takes the final point home today. We had one DNF and that was of course Nicholas Latifi. Quenyu Cho had a few problems and giving him a full stop in this race uh, and he finishes a lap behind. And now we are up into P2 in the driver standings, only 10 points behind Max Verstappen. So that's great to see that we are now past Leclerc. We are still in a three-way fight for the championship and the gap to uh, Ferrari is at the moment only 27 points. The gap to Red Bull is 20 points. So I feel like we can actually win this uh, even though we've had a few bad races. We can still do this. I feel like we can do it. So let me know. Do you think can we do it or can't we do it? It all depends on what you think. Because that will uh, influence absolutely nothing. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it as much as I did. Then please like and subscribe and share it with all your friends. And I'll see you in the Singapore Grand Prix. No, Singapore was just done. I will see you in the Japanese Grand Prix. You can watch it if it's out already uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.